Hello there, I'm back and you'll be back very, very soon, if not already, at school for 2021. And I'm going to go through what you need maths-wise to get yourself the very best prepared before you go back to school or even the first few days of school. And the first thing I want to talk about is the calculator. It's the thing that usually comes up the most, as I had in one of my comments the other day. And generally, the calculator that you need is the one that you see in front of you. Now, with all the calculators and other equipment I'm going to show you today, I'll put the links in the description below to Amazon. So if you need to click through to that, then by all means, please do, or you can purchase it from elsewhere. So the calculator here, this is needed for the following year groups. So you will need this for year seven, eight, and nine. So if you're in those year groups, this calculator will be more than sufficient. You'll see there is the sine, cos, tan buttons, which we tend to use in year eight or year nine. Uh, you've got your basic squaring, square rooting, uh, multiplication, addition, division, and subtraction. So make sure that this is the calculator you get if you're in year seven, eight, and nine. If you are doing GCSEs in England, so just GCSE, or if you're doing A-level, then this is also the calculator for you as well. Okay, so this is the sound GCSE, and whether you're doing Edexcel, which is the Pearson's, or you're doing a different one, so AQA, for example, possibly OCR, then this calculator will be fine for you. You don't need anything more complicated than this. So you'll see in the vast majority of cases, this calculator is fine. I should also add uh, for the IGCSE, um, this is also valid for the 0580 course, okay? So do check out the course that you're doing, it's very, very important. So if you're doing the IGCSE 0580 course, this calculator is also fine. However, if you're doing a couple of different courses, then these are the two calculators you need to consider. So this is the one I generally use on my YouTube channel and one I recommend as well, which is called the TI Inspire CX2. Um, whether you get CAS or not actually doesn't really matter now with these um, Model 2s because uh, they can also be switched off in exam mode. So I would recommend this one personally, the one that you see in. Again, all the links are in the description below. And this is the calculator for the IGCSE 0607 Cambridge course. It's called International Mathematics. You will need one of these two calculators to do it. Or if you're doing any of the IB courses. So this is an alternative to A-levels, then you need this calculator as well, okay? Alternatively, you can also take Casio's model, and this is to be recommended when you're used to a Casio calculator, and you want to take the next logical step, which is the CG50, you'll see that written up here. Again, this is also valid for these two courses as well, okay? Um, this is slightly cheaper, the Casio compared to the TI Inspire, but again, ask your school, they may be able to do a group order for you and then get some kind of discount too. So the key calculators, this one here, if you're doing IGCSE 0607, very specific course, and if you're doing any of the IB courses, these are the two calculators to consider. Number two is a more general um, equipment that you need for mathematics and you see it all here. So we have the compass, so this is a set of compasses, uh, you have the ruler here, and you probably can see a protractor here as well. Now, I know in some countries, um, you use what's called a Geodreieck in Germany, so like a, a set square, but it has a, a protractor within it. That's absolutely fine as well. And essentially, you need all this equipment for pretty much every maths course. So all maths courses, you'll be expected to have these. However, A-level and IB, generally, you won't be using a compass, you won't be using a protractor per se, but certainly if you want to make sure you're prepared, particularly if in the younger year groups, for some year 7 to year 11, you need to make sure you have all the equipment that you see there in front of you. Again, there's a link in the description if you want to purchase it directly, that's absolutely fine. And number three is a more general organization tip as well. You may have done this already. Well done if you have done it already. So getting some kind of diary. Now, many schools uh, uh, provide a guide of some kind or some diary. Um, but I would always recommend, particularly if you've got a week until school starts, that you can actually get your own diary. You can start you know, getting yourself in the mindset of, OK, what am I going to use my Saturdays and Sundays for? I do these sports activities, I do these dancing activities. OK, how do I fit my homework into that? And you can even start thinking about that kind of process as well. OK, so hopefully you found that helpful. Um, again, please like and subscribe. It always goes down well, uh, particularly with the algorithm. 
and I'll see you on the next video. And one quick note about predictions. I will be getting on those predictions, so they'll be coming out shortly. Right, bye-bye for now.